Hi y'all, this is Mike Peasley from Tone Hammer, wishing you a big giddy up from Texas. Uh, we're going to walk you through uh, the new Requiem Pro, just some of the new features that uh, that this uh, new offering has going for it. Um, some pretty powerful stuff this time around. Uh, we're going to cover nine main points here, without the crappy accent. Uh, let's start off with the uh, single voice legato, just one vowel, that's ah. Uh, moving on to the three voice polyphonic legato, that's three independent voices at once with legato. Um, then we're going to move on to the sustains, uh, just the eh vowel with legato switched off. And then we're going to get into the mercato phrase builder uh, and the staccato phrase builder. And uh, that's a pretty powerful set of tools we'll get into a little later. And then we're going to get into the fast uh, polyphonetic sustains with the full choir. And then the slow polyphonetic sustains with just the females. And then the slow poly sustains with just the males. And then all three of those have legato functionality now, along with the soloist polyphonetic sustains, which have legato. So let's begin with the single voice legato. And you can see our beautiful new interface with our magical tome full of mystery and wonder and controls. Um, so we have the speed controls for legato to begin with. That's slow, medium, fast, height, and off. And that controls the fade and blend time and overall speed of the legato transition, and then the volume of the legato transition, and then our polyphonic legato controls, legato range limit and positions, and I'll get into that later, and then the legacy range controls that allow you to limit which keys will trigger this instrument. Uh, and then we have the fine tuning controls, uh, swell, X blend, Y blend, and offset, and those, uh, I'll get into that later, but those all control different performance parameters. The adjustments for attack, release, and overall dynamic responsiveness, which we'll get into. And then you go to the next page, which is our help page, and we get into greater detail about each of the controls and uh, the, the, uh, the CC controls that are automatically mapped to them, and uh, generally how to use each of the features in uh, greater detail. And then this also corresponds to our README manual, so if you need more info, you can find it there. So let's, uh, let's have a little demonstration of the solo legato uh, in the slow setting. That was the single voice legato. Let's move on to the polyphonic legato. And this system works by analyzing incoming notes and deciding which notes fall closest to any notes that are currently playing. Uh, if a new note's within the user-defined range limit of any currently playing note, uh, using the leg limit uh, control defined here, then it'll perform a legato transition from that note to the new note. Uh, if it falls outside the range, then it'll play as a new note without interrupting the currently playing note. And it can keep track of up to three independent chains at once. That was the polyphonic legato. Another thing to keep in mind is any notes that spill over the three uh, chain limit will play as sustains, allowing you to play complex chords on top of your legato lines. Uh, if you just want to play uh, chords uh, or just sustains without legato transitions, then you just set the control to off, the speed control, uh, and then you can just basically play chords with as many voices as you like. That was the sustains by themselves without legato uh, with intensity control on the swell knob. So let's move on now to the Marcato Phrase Builder tool. 
Uh, and we have 16 uh, words slash syllables to choose from. R, cre, cru, do, fa, fis, glo, ki, mus, nis, nus, ri, sank, sin, son, and tus. And then the skip control, which basically just puts in a blank. Uh, and then you have the clear, which erases everything you've plugged in, and the back, which uh, steps back a, a level. And basically you just click on the syllable you want to add. Uh, in this slot from left to right and it's basically to set up a sequence and obviously a skip puts in a blank so when you would play a note you'd hear nothing so let's hear So it's a very easy to use step sequencer. As you play each new note, it just moves from left to right to the sequence you've created. Let's move on to staccato, uh, staccato uh, phrase builder. And uh, we have 19 uh, syllables here to choose from. Fis, glo, ki, la, mus, nis, nus, ri, gru, sank, sart, sin, son, tus, and then skip. Uh, and then clear and back is, of course, an og. La, let's just set up a little sequence. And basically, you have uh, you know this this full range uh, here. If you if you need a more complex sequence to set up, then you would use our quick chant tool. Uh, this is just basically for short sequences. get into the quick chant tool and a little more detail about this one in a future video. Um, let's move on to the poly sustains, uh, the fast full choir poly sustains. Uh, and this now includes legato functionality. So let's get into that. Uh, you have two layers to work with, um, the low layer and the high layer. And this just basically allows you to cross fade independently between them. So you can have one chant set up on one key switch and another on another and basically cross fade between two independent uh, uh, Latin words um, and then you have these different controls that allow you to blend between them uh, control the attack and uh, and jump forward into the phrase if you want using the offset knob and then let's get into uh, a little more depth here um, and most of the controls are fairly consistent from one uh, program to the next some of them have slightly different functions in different instruments but mostly uh, if you learn how to use it for one instrument it'll be consistent with all of them <laughs> And even though you're only able to play one voice at a time when it's in its legato mode, uh, that's basically monophonic legato, uh, it's still a very powerful tool because it's keeping track of where you are in a phrase at any given time. So as you're changing notes, it's just picking it up where you left off. Uh, even when you arrive at the sustaining vowel looping phase of the slow polyphonetic uh, sustains, and here are the female slow polyphonetic sustains with legato.
And you'll notice when you release the note, it plays the release trigger sample, which uh, in the case of crucifixus is the s consonant sound. Uh, moving on to the male slow polyphonetic sustains, um, you can set the layer by using either the key switches, which you can define uh, to whatever range you like, or you can use the knob. They both work. Crossway between two different chants. And you can perform those crossfades between any two chant layers at any time you like, even while you're playing with legato. Um, and you can also change the each layer by using the key switches or knob at any time uh, as long as you're not in the middle of playing that layer uh, and uh, the solos that work in essentially exactly the same way although they don't have loops and they're not um, essentially bound to any BPM so it takes a little bit of uh, getting used to to learn how to perform with these um, because we wanted to capture the essence and feeling that the singer wanted to bring to the table without necessarily trying to overly constrain them so once again, we begin by defining the chant layer with a key switch. a blend between two different phrases. So that's really just scratching the surface uh, of what all the new controls and features in Requiem Pro can do. Uh, we'll be covering more of those in greater detail uh, in the near future in uh, some more videos. Uh, so for now, uh, I want to say thanks uh, on behalf of all of us here at Tonehammer, Trolls, myself, uh, Greg, and Chris. So later days.